Jahara's house is really easy to miss in Act 3, I'm going to show you where to find it. Make your way to the western part of the lower city to this house. If Jahir is in your party, you'll trigger a bunch of unique dialogue. Either way, make your way inside and climb to the second floor. Talk to Tate. If Jahir is with you, he'll give you a harp-shaped pin, otherwise you can just steal it from him. Make your way back to the sunroom, click on the button on the side and insert the harp-shaped pen. This will reveal a passage to the basement. If Jahir is with you, you're quite safe, else you can remove this box from the pressure plate and it should disable all the traps. Otherwise, you can shoot ice on ice, lightning on lightning, fire on fire, and poison on the green one. Have a quick conversation with the animals about the city and then push inside of her lodging. There, you can find the key in the plank or lockpick your way through the back shelf, leading to an opulent chest containing Jahira's iconic staff and scimitar from Baldur's Gate 2, and in the display case behind an amazing necklace that was gifted to her by her late husband. There's also a mysterious scroll on her desk that you can ask her about that leads to interesting dialogue. And there you go, real estate in Baldur's Gate.